Hi guys and welcome back again today for another reaction video. Woo! So today we're going to be listening to, watching, and reacting to another brand spanking new artist on the channel from all the way back from 1968. This song was released in 1968. It's called Harper Valley PTA and it is by Jeannie C. Riley. And that's all I know about it. So anyway, if you want to fill me in on anything you know about it in the comment section or anything you know about the artist, the song, um, uh, any any future reactions that you would like to see, uh, pop it all in the comments. And uh, I can't wait to I can't wait to find out everything that I can. So without anything further from me, you guys, let's jump right into it. And as usual, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> And we don't believe you ought to be a bringing up your little girl this way. And it was signed by the Secretary Harper Valley PTA. Stop. Well, it happened that the PTA was going to meet. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Whoa. So you got to remember, I'm listening to the song for the very first time. So you can only imagine how fast that escalated. For, for me. So the music comes in. It's, it's got a really nice kind of uh, sort of like a bluesy country, you know, got a really mellow vibe to it. Uh, the guitar is fantastic, by the way. Her voice is, is fantastic. And she's beautiful. She's absolutely stunning. Like, look at her. Just look, right? And then it just shot right into, um, basically, they're calling her out for uh, wearing her dresses too short and having too much to drink and uh boyfriends can you imagine receiving a letter like that what the heck but the way that she sort of flowed into that the way it sort of flowed into it and there was no change in her tone uh, or, or the melody it just makes it i don't know it really took a whole left turn that i wasn't expecting i love a good storytelling song you guys and i think that that's what this is so i'm going to drag it back a few seconds and we're going to pick it back up anytime i pause the song i will always drag it back a few seconds and pick it back up just in case i pause it somewhere where i accidentally interrupt the flow of it so anyway and it was signed by the secretary harper valley pta Sure surprise when Mrs. Johnson wore her mini skirt into the room. And as she walked up to the blackboard, I can still recall the words she had to say. Oh, what did she say? She said, I'd like to address this meeting of the Harper Valley PTA. It's gonna go down. Well, Sometimes. And Mrs. Taylor sure seems to use a lot of ice whenever he's away. And Mr. Baker, can you tell us why your secretary had to leave this town? Tell us. Come on now. Should Whitta Jones be told to keep her window shades off or completely down? Shirley Thompson's bread, you'll find she's had a little nip of gin. Woo. And then you have the nerve to tell me you think that as a mother I'm not fit. Well, this is just a little Peyton place, and you're all Harper Valley hypocrites. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something no, else there. I wouldn't put you on because it really did. It happened just this way. Mama. 
I loved that. I loved that. I loved the storytelling in that. I loved the whole, the way it flipped around, how it started off like they were attacking her because of the way she was dressing. And basically, um, the way she was dressing and having a drink and having a boyfriend or whatever. And then she's like, hey, you know, what about you, 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 and you? I'm going to call everybody out all at the same time all at the same meeting and let's talk about this this that and this and what's up with Bobby asking her out seven times seven dates and I bet you he was one of the ones that was sitting there criticizing her too wasn't he mm -hmm. that sounds like something Bobby would do right criticize the person that he's been asking out seven times for the way she dresses come on now that was awesome awesome and i love i love the storytelling to it and what i really appreciated about it you guys was that her tone didn't change it maintained the same melody throughout the song and it was still she didn't even have to change the tone of her song or sorry she didn't even have to change the tone in her voice to to maintain your interest i was so invested in the story as as it was going on and she didn't even change the pitch and tone of her voice that was beautiful beautiful voice beautiful singer she was absolutely stunning the music that was backing up her vocals was fantastic and it was just so simple this i like the simplicity simplicity of it she just stood in there holding her microphone and telling it like it ti is and that was awesome loved it i loved it <laughs> So, anywho, guys, thanks for hanging out with me again today. If you have any other suggestions or requests, uh, pop them in the comments. Let me know anything about this song that you want me to know and about the singer. And uh, anyway, loved it. So, that was a fun, fun song for me. So, and uh, thanks for hanging out with me again today, you guys. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.